Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How Tos. We're going to talk to you today about doing Meet Me conferencing. Now, one of the requirements to do this is you must have enhanced conferencing turned on. You must have it to yes. Um, and then you check your vectors and you can see that I have vectoring prompting as yes. You can see I don't have basic, but I have yes on prompting. Not sure if that's a requirement. I guess I've got to go look that up. But regardless of the fact that I have enhanced conferencing, uh, uh, where did it go? Enhanced conferencing is yes. That's pretty much the only place you can really do this is in a vector. So that's probably why it's enabled for me. I know I didn't prep enough on this one, but who cares? All right. So next thing you need to do is add your announcements. And I've already done that. I've already pre-recorded them. And if you need to know how to do this, if you need to know how to add your announcements, go check out my video on adding the announcements. The process works the same across all systems, all CMs, Definities, all the way back uh, as far as I can remember. All right, so I have my Meet Me Conference welcome, and this is the one that says, Welcome to Meet Me Conferencing, please enter your access code. Uh, then I have an announcement, invalid Meet Me code, try again. Then I have an invalid Meet Me code, you need to go get help because you don't know how to get into the conference. There's the Meet Me Conference already in progress, basically letting you know that you're about to join. Then there's the first to the Meet Me Conference, yay you, because you're the first one there. Then there's the Meet Me Conference is full, now go away. All right, so those are added. So... You have to set your vector that you're going to assign as your meet me first. And we're going to do change vector 20, meet me, meet met, <laughs> meet conf. All right. I'm going to say meet me conferencing. Yes. Right there. It says VDNs currently assigned to this vector may not operate as expected, which means if you have a VDN that's assigned to this vector, it may freak out. All right, so just be aware of that and add a brand new VDN, add a brand new vector so you don't have to worry about that. All right, I'm just going to submit this as empty, and then I'm going to go add my VDN because I'm, I want to show you the steps and explain the steps. Otherwise, I'd go add them now. 1320, because we added vector 20. So you see how I did that? All right, so uh, PBX how to's meet me conf. Vector number 20, uh, meet me conferencing, yes. Boom. Give it 13 because it's my lucky number. I know you're going to get tired of hearing that, but that's all right. And then I'm going to go make my access code 131313. 1000 is the conference controller, which is my phone, my extension. And I'm going to say enter. All right. So now that's submitted, let's go set up our meet me conferencing. The first thing you need to do is do a collect. And we're going to do, what is it, six? Crap. Display VDN, 1320. I am brain dead. Ah, it start out. One, three, one, three, one, three. Yes. <laughs> Change vector 20. All right. So we're going to collect six digits after announcement. What was my welcome one? Come on, raise your hand. Who has it? Yes. Two, zero, zero, two. Oops. Two, zero. Yeah. Okay. So you collect six digits, which basically this is where it says, get your, uh, get the access code, all right? So if it is uh, correct, go ahead and go to six, six. yeah, uh, go to step six. So this is where if it, if it actually um, uh, works, right? So if the digits are right, oops, my bad. Six, if digits equals meet me access, then do another collect. Six digits after announcement. This is the invalid one, 20021. Uh, go to step six. If digits equals meet, meaty, meet me access. Um, if that doesn't work, we're going to go disconnect after announcement. Let's see, 20022. Step six is go to. Uh, let's do 11. If uh, meet, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, yeah. Meet me idle. Yeah, got it. Go to step, what was it? 14? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, because I need to have more. You'll see why. Uh, meet me full. This basically says you get to go away. All right, so announcement. Uh, let's see. Uh, 20023, because that's the announcement that says the conference is already in progress. 
and then route to meet me and stop. Because once you get there, you don't want the vector to keep processing. You want it to stop. All right. But remember, we're going to go to idle 11 if it's 11 or if it's idle, meaning if you know, you're the only one there. Um, already in progress, I'm sorry. Whichever the case, 11, announcement, 20024. Yeah, so this is the first one in progress. And let's go to 12. We're going to route to meet me. Stop. 14 is disconnect after announcement. Um, what is it? 20025. This is the conference is full. Now go away. Stop. And boom. Display vector 20. All right. So this is how you set up Meet Me Conferencing. All right. Works just great. And uh, I guess I should have told you how many you can have. I believe this one is either. Is it six or 300? Oh, I'll find out. Just look up the documentations, it'll tell you. Um, but it's, it's, it's like six or 300. Maybe, I may be thinking of the enhanced, which I won't talk about. But anyway, here is your Meet Me conferencing system, all right? You are all ready to go. So let's test it. Display VDN 1320, all right? So I'm gonna dial this from my phone. And you can't see it because there's a star there, but just think 1313, all right? Or 131313. 13. So, 1320. Welcome to PBX How-To's Meet Me Conferencing. Please enter your access code now. Now, I'm going to enter a bad one. One, two, one, three, one, three. You have entered an invalid access code. Please try again. All right, I'm going to do it again incorrectly. One, three, one, two, one, three. Again, you've been dialed an invalid access code. Go get help. Okay, and it hangs up on me. <laughs> I'm rude, aren't I? All right, so we're going to do this again. So 1320. Welcome to PBX How-To's Meet Me Conferencing. Please enter your access code now. 131313. One, one, Welcome. You are first to the conference. Please wait for others to join. Okay, so now I'm in the conference, and I'm, I'm not on hold, but I'm just sitting there waiting for others to join. All right, so let's see what this looks like <clears throat> when I access this this particular Meet Me Conference vector, right? So I'm going to call it 1320. Welcome to PBX How-To's Meet Me Conferencing. Please enter your access code now. I'm going to fail it. 131213. You've entered an invalid access code. Please try again. 131213. Again, you've been dialed an invalid access code. Go get help. All right, so you can see that... The difference between 5.2 and uh, R12, or whatever, 4, whatever my version is, it doesn't give me the full error codes. It doesn't tell me everything it's doing, but it does tell me the steps that, that are happening. Um, in newer versions of the communication manager, it will actually show you the full detail, which is nice, because you can't really do any good troubleshooting with this. Um, but you can see that I was able to... Um, uh, go through the vector properly. So now I'm going to do, I mean, it just shows you the steps. Welcome to PBX How-To's Meet Me Conference. I'm going to dial the correct the one. The conference. Please wait for others to join. Okay, now I'm in the conference. And you can see that it successfully routed me to meet me. So you can see the difference between a bad one and a successful one. All right. So, um, pre what else? What else, what else, what else? What else? Um... Oh, Meet Me Conferencing. Yes, I do have it. The Enhanced is the 300. I'm sorry. The Enhanced is the 300 uh, users because you got to you got to use a media server and all this other stuff. But the Meet Me Conference allows you to have dial-in conferencing up to six parties. So, you know, it's like having conferencing on your phone, but this is a nicer, more professional way to give people a phone number to say, hey, this is my Meet Me Conferencing bridge. You know, please call it. And you can do that. So... Any questions, uh, any comments, let me know. Um, but uh, definitely refer to the documentation on detailed setup on how to do this. But this basically shows you how to do it. Display vector 20, you know, 12. There you go. So you can pause at each of these, at each of these parts, display announcement. Uh, look at these announcements here. I'll let you pause there. Pause. Okay. And that way you can you can actually see what you need to do. Alrighty. 
Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.